Come on, I can't hear your voice. Do you believe that? Yeah. So lift up your two hands. After this, we are going to sing one or two more songs. All right? Open up your heart. I have a very brief moment to spend with us, but I want it to be very qualitative. And so you lend me attention under this brevity of time that we have to spend together. Is that fine? Lift up your two hands. So we are going to sing or do it that see let it day. Pada. Eleshe Pada. Okay? I don't want backups, okay? If, let's use our voices without the mic. I want this church to sing. Are we ready? Mm. Oh, do we da sile Pada. You can sing it louder. Come on, sing it louder. One more time. Oh, Tideo. Adon Ida. Ni ori la ede ni on dudu ati kawa si eweko shubon awani baba kon loko do mo pe tire wa tide komo kala ya voices Ajinde, jowo fuwa oluwa wa, bata ba yosi ole, eda wa, kawa ye kade omo, liko o tide omo, oni mante mo do do, oni. Jeki Fiti La Eweku Joma Shete Koka Nibe Shete Jatu Atsuko Asama kuli landa ali 
Kuni Jaalo Musa, Ariba Luni Jariru Allah Bojini Siri Allah Hamma. Nita Pata Barabadu. Can you cry to the Lord? You to the earth, lift up your voices. The fire upon the CNS church must not die. The light must not go out. Lift up your voices. Lift up your voices. Shaka paka pateli apeli apeli. Esa pete keteli endeli. Eri makopa saila.
evangelists. He's going to raise prophetess. God wants to anoint people. Holy Ghost in this house. Let your anointing come. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shai Kopasila. Area Kopasiate. Hey! Sayala. Area Kopelia Pariataya.
Lift up your voices. Whether you are in the choir or you are in the congregation, lift up your voices and pray. Jesus, tonight I need an encounter. Come on, you can pray better. You can pray better. Something is happening in this place. The glory of God will rest on people's lives. The glory of God will rest on people's lives. The manifest glory. 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 Can you cry? Cry. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Let some rest on me. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Hold on. There are two angels I'm seeing with a jar of oil on their hand. Ushers, help me. Those angels, they will pour the oil on people. Please help them, help them. Let the oil come. Come, come. The oil, there will be coronation. Let the oil come. Please help them, help them, help them. Let the oil come. Let the oil. It's a night of impartation. It's a night of empowerment. Rise in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. I from heaven. I, please help them, help them. Help them everywhere. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the oil of God. Leave those hands, everyone. I want you not to share I want to one I want to you Asaba, Kolilai, Lamantaru, Mama Mamma, 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 Ashe ashe koso kale Similar la toruwa Ashe ashe koso kale Similar la toruwa Ashe ashe koso kale Similar Let's 
Asima Kalifani Kiribu Bala Asiba Rayo Kanindu Iruba Lila Ileka Wasa Ribu Linjaitu Arama Likuli Iruba Samaru Kalila Asaba Kili Mujatiri Iriba Le Karda Amansa Ilimi Every bondage will be destroyed tonight by the anointing <laughs> Every chain will be broken by the anointing. Every fetters will be broken by the anointing. Every bondage will be destroyed by the anointing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
please let it come down. Let it come down. Let it come down. There's someone the Lord spoke to me about. I will not call you out. Okay? It, it looks embarrassing. I will not call you out. There are two cases. You still bed wet and you are not young. Number two, the Lord spoke to me about someone that you have affection for same gender, not opposite sex, and you are here. Same gender. And you have been trusting the Lord that, Lord, I need to be delivered. God says that tonight is your night of deliverance. While we began to worship, I began to see chains broken, fetters broken. Do you believe that? Listen, say to yourself, say, tonight is my night. No, come on, say it confidently and audaciously. I can hear your loud voices. Declared into the hearings of someone, say, tonight is my night. Leave those ends. Oh, Gloria, anointing for speed that anointing will come upon a young lady don't say amen don't worry and when that anointing comes upon you you will begin to run you cannot stand Holy Spirit where is that person that you want to put the anointing for speed upon her right now right now Right now, by the power of the Spirit, let it come like fire. Don't say amen. Let it come like fire. The anointing for speed. Please, help, help her. Help her. That's it. Please help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. That's it. It's the anointing. Help them. Help them. They can't stand it. It's the anointing for speed. Help them. Help that lady. Let it rest. 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 It's not mechanical. Is the hand of the spirit. The hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he outran the chariot of Ahab. Is the anointing for speed. I know it may be strange to you. It may be strange. But that's the way God works with us. Help them, help them. It's flowing everywhere. Flowing everywhere. Those of you, yes, help them. It's the anointing for speed. You cannot remain in one place. 
Never. Your family cannot remain in one place. Your family cannot remain in one place. No more stagnation. Let the anointing rest. 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 By fire. Adam. Shakata. Adam. 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 Is the anointing for speed. Ushers, just help them so that they don't injure themselves. There's someone I'm seeing in my vision. I'm seeing a chain on your leg. The Lord will destroy it. Shout your loudest, amen. Oh my God, something is coming strong. That chain will be broken. It will be broken. It will be broken. Shout your loudest, amen. Let every bond be broken down. Lord, we are those that you want to break the chain on their legs. We are they. Holy Spirit, we are they are right now. Let the anointing come. By the anointing, yokes are destroyed. Let the chain be broken. Let the chain be broken. Let the chain be... There's someone I'm seeing at the back there. An anointing will rest upon you. Every chain, every bondage will be destroyed now. Oh, help that person at the back. Help that person. Yes. Help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. Please. Whether you are an usher or you are not an usher, anyone seeing manifesting, just help them. Help them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, just walk with me. Okay. Go ke amo imole Ilusi yon wala Ni be ni le wa titi Ni be la ni oluwa Everyone with any form of addiction. There's someone I'm hearing in my vision. You will shout under the anointing. And if you find that person, just let me bring the person here. An anointing will come upon you right now. And you are going to scream by the anointing of the Spirit. Holy Ghost, wherever the person is. In the name of Jesus, the Lord wants to bring a deliverance to your family, and that's why He wants to manifest like that. Spirit of God, wherever the person is right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, oh my God, it's coming so strong. The anointing is coming so strong. Please bring that person for me. Uh, bring them. It's coming so strong. You cannot resist it. You cannot resist it. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Just help them. Help them. I think there are quite many. Bring them for me. Oluwa Dide Oluwa O G 
Didéo, Didéo, Didé, Koa Fia Barare. Establish us in doctrine. Please take your seat very quickly. You have among the choir. Just Emily hands on the person. Hallelujah. All right. There are a lot that the Lord wants to do, but there's a limitation of time. And I want to obey the instruction. I want to keep to time. Just help them. Help them anywhere they are. Is the power of God moving in this place. Now, I want to appreciate God for the awesome privilege He has granted me to be standing on this exalted rostrum to declare God's counsel to God's people. I want to appreciate the organize, organizers of this camp. All right, I want to appreciate um, special apostle, Captain Ojimi. I celebrate you, sir. Petro. <laughs> I celebrate you, sir. I celebrate you, Daddy. I celebrate you, Pastor Douglas. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, everyone. And please, I mean, especially appreciate. She, she's beyond my in-law. We are. She's my lover. Please let me celebrate her. Let me celebrate her. Thank you for the wonderful session, ma. Lord, we honor you, ma. Very quickly, in about twenty minutes, I'm going to do this so that we can tidy up for tonight. All right? I, I just need you to lend me your attention. Leave everyone under the anointing. Just leave them. You be concentrated because your life is about to change. Do you believe that? If you believe it, shout your loudest amen. Shout your loudest amen. He came to set the captives free. Isaiah chapter 61, we are going to do verse 1 through verse 3. Isaiah chapter 61, we are going to do three verses. 1, 2, and 3. Flip your Bibles open, if you have it, Andy, or you have it on your electronic device, and read together with me. Are you ready? All right. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. Verse 2 To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning, 
the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Amen. So when we say he came to set the captives free, what does it mean to set the captives free? Who were or are the captives? Who held them captive or who was their captor? These are very important questions that we must answer. They may be rhetorical, but we have to give answers to them. So when we say that he came to set the captives free, what does it mean to set free? To set free means to experience liberty. To set free means to experience freedom. To set free means to experience emancipation from the grip of darkness. Because one of the things that Jesus came to do primarily is to deliver everyone oppressed of the devil. And the way man became oppressed is by the way of sin. What introduced bondage, what introduced oppression is that body, is that mother called sin. So what Jesus came to do is to die for the sins of humanity so that everyone who is under the prison yard of darkness, they can be delivered from all oppression of the enemy. And everyone listen to my voice tonight with your amen like thunder. Everywhere the enemy is oppressing you, tonight will be the end in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus. The captives are the prisoners of Satan. The captives, please concentrate. Leave everyone manifesting. Just leave them. You came for your life. God is working on them. You, pay attention. You don't only pay school fees. You also pay attention. Are you following me? You are not here. If you are still with me, say amen. Amen. I said the captives are the prisoners of the devil. The prisoners of Satan. Who have been enforced to do the biddings of darkness. They have been enforced to do the biddings of the enemy. They have become slaves to the enemy. Those are the captives. So, when you begin to see some areas of your life that the enemy is ruling, that the enemy is reigning, it means that that aspect of your life, if you don't expose it to the reality of Jesus, the enemy is at work. The Bible says, why men slept? The enemy came and sowed tears into the wheat and he went his ways. When they were beginning to do the diagnosis, they said, an enemy has done this. Can I speak about someone's life? Everything the enemy has done, we undo them tonight. We undo them tonight in the name of Jesus. So who is the one who keeps men captive? It is Satan. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, the Bible says, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but I have come that they might have life and life more abundantly. Every time you begin to see the signs of theft, the signs of destruction in your life, it means that the enemy is at work. And the Bible says, resist the devil and he shall flee away from you. Did you get that? If you see sickness superimposing itself on your life, it is the work of the enemy. An enemy has done this. You know why? Because Jeremiah 29, 11, the Bible says, I know my thoughts towards you. They are the thoughts of good and not of evil to give you a hope and a future or to give you an expected hand. Are you following me now? So anything in your life that does not obey the will of God is the work of darkness. And you must be angry at the work of the enemy. Are you following me now? 
the Bible says, in nothing terrified by your adversaries. You cannot be terrified. Unfortunately, a good number of us as youth, the enemy is sitting upon our lives. But today we must unseat him. And you don't believe that? We must unseat him. Those things that you hide behind the doors to do, secretly, that no eyes can see, God sees them. And he wants to expose them today. Some of you even came to camp meeting, and you are still cohabiting. Are you paying attention to me now? Uh, everywhere is silent. Some came to camp meeting for different reasons. And if they ask you that, where are you coming from after seven days? You say, I went for a camp meeting. Do you realize that Peter went to the mountain and he was sleeping on the mountain? So everyone can come here and not everyone is ready-minded to receive the deliverance of the Lord. But I pray for you that your heart will be opened. You will know why you came. You will not come and while away time. You will have an encounter with destiny. Is that your loudest amen? Shout your loudest amen. In Isaiah chapter 49 from verse 24, the Bible says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? The Bible says, yes, even the, the lawful captive shall be delivered. Just help them, help them. There will be deliverance in this place. So it's just because there's no time. Some of you, you will not go back the same way you came. There's no time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a vision, but I want to preach. I want to preach. I'm seeing in my vision somebody with wings. Who are these that flies like the dove onto their windows? I'm seeing God giving somebody a wing. I saw two wings. You will no longer do business. Uh -uh. Holy Spirit, where is that person? Uh, please help them. Yeah, help. Help. Help them, help them. I'm, I saw two wings given to somebody. They have come to carry you. They came to carry you. Let me preach. I don't have time. Are you with me? Uh, you have got back home. Are you with me? The Bible says that even the lawful captive, I'm seeing vision of what's happening. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. You know what that means? That even if you are lawfully in captivity, by the finished work of Jesus on the cross, the Bible says there will be deliverance. Some of you, the captivity you are in, you cost it. You took yourself to the altars of darkness to wine and dine with the enemy. And nobody dines with darkness and goes scot free. But I have a good news for you tonight. Because you have come to meet Jesus, you will go scot free. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I have just 10, 15 minutes more. Very quickly, because of my time, I'm, I'm trying to rush a lot. I want to give you four keys to enjoying freedom and liberty. Four important keys to enjoy freedom and liberty. I might not have sufficient time to explain it them deeper because of the limitation of time. All right, but just have it written down and allow it to be written upon your heart as well. 
Number one, you see, these keys I want to give you, if you will do business with them, I can tell you for free that you can never be in captivity again all your life. You know why? Because the word of God is true. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do against the truth, but for the truth. So if the Bible says that you will be delivered, we believe the word. Above even experiences. We may have experiences, but the word of God supersedes our experiences. It is not our experiences that interprets the word. It is the word that interprets our experiences. Are you paying attention to me? Are you with me now? For instance, you can see yourself in your dream, in a coffin, and you saw that you were dead. And you woke up. You see, the fact that you woke up means that you can't die. Are you with me? If you will die, you, you will not wake up. The fact that you woke up from that demonic dream means that you can't do what? You can't die. What do you do when you rise up? You will use the word of God. The Bible says, with long life, will it satisfy me and it will show me his salvation. Are you paying attention to me now? I shall not die, but live to declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. You see, the enemy is taking advantage of the life of many believers. And that's why it looks like we are puppets. It looks like he's superintending over our lives. Because we are ignorant. Now listen, the number one is the knowledge of the truth. The knowledge of the truth. The knowledge of the truth. If you want to be set free permanently, you must have access to the knowledge of the truth. Now listen, ignorance is the greatest weapon of darkness. Ignorance is a cancer. That is the tool that the enemy uses in destroying the life of many believers. He knows that anywhere ignorance is, there will be obstacles. There will be bondages. Anywhere ignorance is, there will be challenges. But he is aware that anywhere there is light, anywhere there is knowledge, the enemy cannot camp around that area. He will try. He will make attempts. But that cannot be his domiciliary. So you must contend for knowledge. Say knowledge. Knowledge gives you an edge in life. Anyone you see thriving and rising, that person must have found something. Thy words were found, and I did eat them, and they became a joy and the rejoicing of my heart. I found them. They question it. What is the word you have found? We have many, we have a lot of youth with zero spiritual intelligence. With zero spiritual knowledge. We like to shake and there's nothing wrong with it. But when you are done shaking, go for knowledge. If not, the devil will use your, your life as a house. Because he does not respect shaking. That's why somebody can go in trance for seven days. Mother, Talofa. You are not here. Because he, he don't see. The devil is not moved by all this drama. He's moved by a man with sufficient knowledge, sufficient insight into the word of God. And so something that you must go for is knowledge somebody say knowledge come on scream it louder say knowledge come on shout knowledge in john 8 32 the bible says and you shall know the truth and the truth shall do what everybody screaming together shall do what what will you know shout the truth say i will know the truth i will contend for the truth I will hold on to the truth. You know one thing that you can hold on to? That greater is he that is in me. 
than he. Did you hear what David said? David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They do what? Thou preparest a table before me. Where? And what did you do again? You anointed my head and my cup. Surely and mercy shall follow me. How many days? Once in a while? By monthly? How many days? Whether you are in the church, whether you are at home, whether you are in school, whether you are in your marriage, goodness and mercy. Can I speak about someone's life? In the name of Jesus, with your amen like thunder, the mercy of God will locate you. In the name of Jesus. Please take your seat very quickly. I don't have time. My God. You can also write John 8 36. Ah, very powerful. Number two, keys to enjoying freedom and liberty. Number two, the administration of God's mercy. Ah, ah, this is a teaching on its own. The administration of God's mercy. In Romans chapter 9 and verse 16, the Bible says, It is not of him that will it, or of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. He's not saying don't will. He's not saying don't run. But it says in all of them, it is the mercy of God that we speak. Do you realize that the only thing blind Bartimaeus was crying for is that Jesus the son of David have mercy upon me. If a man is in a dark situation where it looks like there's no hope anymore, sometimes you don't even know the prayer to pray. But when you say, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon me, O God. According to your loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my sins. Are you following me now? The mercy of God is the believer's greatest asset. The mercy of God. The mercy of God. Are you paying attention to me? There was a woman caught in adultery in John chapter 8. The Bible says was that they took her in the act of adultery. She was taken from the act and they took her to a man of mercy. Can I hear the keyboard? Mira lori te o mira Kala no mira Ni tori oro mi Mira Hey! Kala no mira Ni tori Anu ni mo bere baba anu ni mo bere Anu ni mo bere Jesus anu ni mo bere Awi jare mama ko Awi jare mama ko Anu ni mo bere Now listen to this version listen Bi di le da fi di ti ranu ga E sha nu fe mi no Anu 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 rababa anu anu oh anu rababa anu da wa solo. Iti le da tu ti da nuka. Iti le da ti 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 da nuka. Esha. To Jesus, and they said this woman was caught in the act of adultery. And according to the law of Moses, she should be stoned to death. And they said, Jesus, 
What would you say? Jesus kept mute. Never uttered a word. The Bible says he stooped down so low and he began to write on the ground. I say, hey, man, tell him, Basoro. Allah, no name. Hey, man, tell him, Allah, no name. Allah, no, Lore. But he will be. I didn't come for the righteous. I came for the unrighteous. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except by me. And anyone that comes to me, I will in no wise cast away. He began to write. Are we together? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish. He's not saying remain in your sin. No. He's saying that my love, when it draws you, it will crush sin. For sin shall not have dominion over us. Because we are not under the law, but we are under the grace of the living God. Are you paying attention to me now? You see, if a man has truly met great grace, you will detest sin. If you still love sin, you have not met with grace. Grace does not empower licentiousness. Grace delivers from sin. Grace does not condone sin. It delivers us. Can I sing? I want to close. Time to be. You are not the one controlling me. I have fathers here. They are the one controlling me. Ah, you to was writing he now looked up and says anyone without pain amongst you should first cast the stone and the bible says to us that when they looked at them, themselves very well they exposed themselves to a questionnaire 
In fact, some of them, before they came, they slapped their wives. Some of them, they lied. Some of them, all kinds of things. When they began to check themselves. Can I tell you? You cannot boast in yourself. You can only boast in the righteousness of Jesus. That's why I say, Lord, help me every time. Lord, help me. One thing that I love so much is the life of purity. The life of holiness. But I realize that in yourself, you cannot achieve it. Except you beckon on help from above. I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who created the heavens and the earth. The Bible says, when they heard that, from the eldest, they began to live one after the other. One after. When Jesus looked up, Jesus said, woman, where are thine accusers? Said they have gone. Jesus said, go and sin no more. So you cannot remain in sin and expect consistent deliverance. Are you following me? Because sin is a token of darkness. It's what attracts the oppression of the enemy to your life. So you have to discard the life that is sinful. You say, Lord, help me. Even though you know it is not easy in yourself, you say, Lord, I need your help. All right, I have two more, but I will say it another time. My time has gone. Rise to your feet. Okay, let me just mention it. All right, stand up. Let me just mention it. Stand up. If you sit down now, I will continue to teach. I said I should continue. Don't worry. Let me respect authority. God bless you. All right, so number three is the economy of God's word. The word of God. The Bible says in Psalms 107 verse 20, the Bible says he sent his word and it delivers them and he healed them and delivered them from their destruction. All right? So that's number three. Number four, active prayer engagement. Active prayer engagement. In Acts chapter 12, Peter was in the prison. And the Bible says the church gathered together and they began to intercede on behalf of Peter. Do you remember that story? He was in bondage. But when the church prayed, he was delivered. I don't have time. The children of Israel, they were in bondage for about 430 years. And the Bible says to us that at a point in time in Exodus chapter 2 and verse 23 and 24, they cried unto the God of heaven. And God heard their groanings and their cries. And God sent deliverance. And the one who delivered them was Moses. Today, your own Moses will arrive. 
Rise to your feet. Let's close. Now listen. I know that we have heard a couple of teachings. I know that God has used seasoned men of God for us to be a blessing to us. I was able to follow a few and it has been wonderful and powerful. And so I want to give God glory to God. But I want to make a call very quickly. All right. In case you are in this place and you know that you don't have a life with Jesus and you want to begin a new life. If you have done it before, perhaps you might not have to do it except if you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. All right. But I want to pray for you on that two minutes and I want you to make you very snappy. You want to say, Jesus, I need a new life. I don't want to continue the life of struggles and bondage anymore. I want to receive the life of Jesus. I want to be free from the power of sin. Where you are, place your left hand on your chest. Not everybody. Those who are your left, not your right hand. Your left hand on your chest. Place it there and raise your right hand up. It's a sign of surrender. God bless you. I'm not speaking to everybody. If you know you are doing it, do it genuinely. God bless you. Your left hand on your chest and your right hand up. Everyone I'm seeing you, everyone I'm seeing right now, now, don't be the last to get here. Run outside very fast. Run very fast. God bless you. Please, others, celebrate them as they come. Celebrate them as they come. Fami mora mora Fami mora They are still coming. Oh, Lua, oh, Lua, oh, 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 Now, I want to celebrate every one of you right before me. And um, this is what brings joy to heaven. There is joy in heaven over every sinner that repented. So, every one of you, just say right after me, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in your word. I believe you died for my sin. I believe you came to save me. Tonight, I receive your life. I part away with darkness. And I follow Jesus. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now, please, how do we want to do them? Okay, everyone, just march to this side. Just march to that. God bless you. Please celebrate them as they march to that side. God bless you. All right, so as you are going, bring out your offerings. Raise your offerings up. Let's pray about it very quickly. Bring out your offerings. Bring out your offerings, everyone, very quickly. Raise your offerings up. Please remain upstanding. Remain upstanding. Remain upstanding and raise your offerings to the heavens. Jesus, all our offerings... We raise them before you. Let them be accepted in the name of Jesus. Let the offerings be acceptable in your sight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. God bless you. Shalom. For you are good and your mercy is forever.